Welcome to this video on how to use Corel Screen Capture. First of all, go down to the bottom left hand side of your screen and start typing the word Corel and eventually you will see this Corel Screen Capture. What I'd recommend is that you right click on this button, right click and select pin to taskbar which will put the icon down here on your taskbar for you to access whenever you need it. When you open Corel Screen Capture, we get a window that looks like this one here with our start and stop record button. This is our stop button. We'll look at the settings in a minute, but this here allows you to select part of your screen. So if they, say for instance, do not want to record your whole screen, you can select the size of the screen by framing it however you see fit. Currently this is set at full screen. If you click on the settings down arrow, you get this. This menu here allows you to name your file. It also tells you your file format, so WMV is fine tells you that you can do a sound check on your voice and uh, your audio and I would just leave those as is. It also gives you um, your control settings so F10 and F11 shortcut keys I will explain shortly. The most important thing at this point is to select your folder options. You'll notice that I've got mine saved to the videos folder so it looks a bit like this. I've saved all my videos straight to the videos folder on my computer and as soon as you've finished recording it drops them automatically in here. You can name them anything you like, you can name them here at the start or you can name them later when you've finished. So to begin, you have to decide what, you, what it is you wish to capture whether it's a Word doc, a PowerPoint, anything at all on your screen will be captured. And you press the record button. And that will start a countdown. It starts at three, two, and one, and then it starts recording whatever it is you've got on your screen. Notice here, it says F10 to stop, F11 to pause and resume. So if you wish to stop, your video, you press F10. Now, depending on your keyboard, it could be the F10 key, or you hold function F10. If you wish to pause and your video and change a, um, a page or put something else up on the screen, you can change it and then hit F11 and resume. Now, speaking about keyboards, this is a copy of a keyboard. I have to hit function F10, stop, I have to hit them both at the same time, or function followed by F10, in order to stop my recording. However, some other people just hit the F10. Function F11, to pause. So to stop, once you've stopped, the video goes into this folder here, your video folder. And from there, you can decide what you want to do with it. Whether you upload it to YouTube, I tend to do, or to click through. It's totally up to you. Depending on the size of the video, you can also send it to students. Thank you very much. Hopefully you learned something from that.